I'm Leslie Johnson and I'm with Nebraska Extension and I'm going to talk today about residue counts and the transect method. So residue cover is really important because uh, the more cover that you have on the ground, the less impact the rainfall will have. It, the, that residue kind of cushions the raindrop before it hits the soil because that raindrop impact can cause, is the immediate cause of erosion. So it will break the soil loose and then that is what erodes. When we're doing residue counts, we are only counting the dead tissue, the, the crop residue from the year before, because that's what's gonna actually re reduce that impact. If you're counting total coverage, you might count the live, live um, plants, but not, um, if you're doing specifically residue counts, you're only counting the, the crop residue from the previous crop. Well, I'll start by telling you a bit about the tool that I use. I use a rope with beads on it. You can use a rope with um, knots tied every six inches, or you can use a tape measure and actually try to measure out every six inches. I use the beads because it doesn't require me to, to add and count at the same time. It makes it simpler and streamlines the process. So with the transect method, I'm going to put um, this particular one has a pin at the end, you can use a, a fence post, whatever it takes to, to poke it into the ground just to, to uh, hold one end of it. And so you would just take this and you would pin it down. All right, so once you have it pinned in the ground, you're gonna go diagonally with the crop row, about 45 degree angle, and that doesn't have to be exact, but approximately a 45 degree angle. That way you're getting a good representative area. And you wanna go 50 feet if you're doing it out in a field, and you wanna do it multiple times. Uh, we're using turf today because that's what we have available, but you're gonna lay it out. Ideally, you'd have a second person to help you hold it tight, or a brick or something to pin it down so that it's nice and tight for you. And then you're gonna walk along the transect, and you're gonna look directly down over it, and you want to count how many places there have um, residue underneath of it. You, when you're looking for residue, you're looking for residue that's going to impact rainfall. So um, one person said, today said three quarters of an inch size or more is going to actually reduce that impact from the rainfall and therefore reduce erosion. So a little tiny grass like what we have here, if there's just one of them, probably isn't going to make a lot of difference. Um, but in a crop residue situation, you're probably not going to be running into grasses like this. So for today's demonstration, we're going to use grass and anything that's under there. We're looking for dead materials, so the actual residue, not what's growing. Along the beads, I should have mentioned this earlier, um, you don't want to go just anywhere on the bead. You're looking for one precise point. So you either want to do either the front or the back or the middle, whatever you choose, be consistent the whole time. Um, I always use the front of the bead just because that's how I learned it. But if you always want to use the back of the bead, that's fine too. So when you're looking directly down at the line and you're looking for residue, this one has residue underneath of it, but really it's actually kind of in the middle of the bead. I'm looking precisely at the edge of the bead here. So this one also has residue, but it's at the back side of the bead. This one has residue directly on the front side of the bead, and so this is the one I would count. I would not count these other two, even though they're, they have residue underneath of them. I'm counting this precise point right at the edge of the front of the bead. When, you're, when you walk along, you're looking directly down and you're counting the number along there and the total number that you end up with at the end of 50, if you're doing 50 feet, that number is your percent residue cover. The math is already done for you by doing six inches and 50 feet. Um, whatever you do, you're gonna calculate the percentage of, uh, of the residue cover. So if you go 100 feet and you measure every six inches, you're gonna have to divide it by two because um, you took twice as many sample or twice as many spots. The bare minimum of residue cover is 30%. You always want to be over that, but a better, a better goal would be 50%. We want to shoot for a little bit higher residue. We want to be better than the bare minimum. Um, in some no-till no soils, 90% uh, residue cover is not uncommon. 
So when you're doing residue covers, it's going to depend, your goal for residue cover might be dependent on the crop that you're going to grow. Some crops will be more of an issue uh, coming through that residue. Others will have no problem with that residue and it'll be fine there, um, knowing that you're protecting that soil, but some will struggle more to get through that extra residue. When you're determining your goal for crop residue, you want to think about soil health in addition to what your cropping system is and what that seed can handle when it's coming up.